All right, folks, today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to set up Half-Life Events Effects Sampler so you get really nice motion blur all within Counter-Strike Go. So we started off CSGO with Half-Life Events Effects. First things first, let's add a new sampler, okay? So it's gonna be Merv Streams Settings Add Sampler and let's call it something, okay? This is where your name goes, all right? We're gonna call it just Sample, all right? Next thing we wanna do is let's set up FFmpeg. So this sampler actually records directly to AVI, okay, instead of TGAs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it right here. So you wanna type in Merv Streams Settings, add FFmpeg, and this is where your name goes, okay? We're gonna call it AVI Blended for the sake of this tutorial, okay? You can call it whatever you want. So we're gonna use the Huff YUV codec. If you don't have the Huff codec installed, well, I've got a link in the description that sends you directly to another video that shows you how to install that. Once you installed it, Come right back and let's pick up where we left off. After we name this profile, what you're gonna type in is you're gonna type in quotations dash V codec space huff YUV space dash A codec space none space squiggly bracket all in capitalization quote squiggly bracket another squiggly capital AFX underscore stream underscore path squiggly slash and then right here you can put in whatever you name you want. I've got video, you can put in tutorial, you can put in Anthony Rocks. I don't care, do whatever you want. But that's where you put your name, dot AVI, squiggly bracket, quote, squiggly bracket, and then quotations. Okay, hit enter. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna edit the settings of the sampler to include this FFmpeg profile. Type in Merv, streams, settings, edit, and then type in the sampler name, which is sample. And then you wanna type in settings again. And then you're gonna type in that name of the FFmpeg profile that we just created, AVI Blended. Hit enter. Okay, this next part is actually really fun. We get to actually customize our sampler, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna type in Merv, streams, settings, edit, sample, and then let's edit the FPS of the sample, okay? We want the recording to output a 30 FPS clip. So because of that, we wanna put in 30 here, okay? Now, maybe you don't want a 30 FPS clip. Maybe you want a 60 FPS clip. Maybe you want a 24 FPS clip, all right? You can do that. Just type in the appropriate number and then press enter. We're gonna do 30 though. Okay, next command. Merv, streams, settings, edit, sample and then type in strength. Okay, in my experimentation, I suggest not touching this. It should be set to one. If it's not one, set it to one. Okay, let's move on to the next command, which is really important in my opinion, and I think the more important commands in this entire setup. Okay, it's Merv, stream, settings, edit, sample, exposure. One is default. One is gonna give you a really smeary look. The motion blur is gonna be really excessive. It's gonna look like Vegas resampling, actually. The great thing about this is that we can reduce that smearing effect. So what I found is that 0.4 is a good place to start. But 0.4 exposure is not the only thing that we have to talk about. It's not the only thing that makes for good sampling. The second important part about this whole thing is what we set the host frame rate to. And what I found from experience is that 100 blended frames combined with with 0.4 exposure creates relatively good motion blur while also keeping your recording times low. So basically what I'm saying is go up to your FPS here and look at the number. So in our case, it's 30. Multiply that number by 100. 100 times 30 will be 3000. That's gonna be your host frame rate here, okay? Now, if you chose 60 FPS as your output FPS up here, you're gonna multiply 60 by 100 and you're gonna get 6,000. That's gonna be your host frame rate. So we have all these sampler settings, but what do we apply that to? Well, we can apply it to a base effect stream. So let's make one. Merv streams add base effects. And let's call this base blended, okay? That's gonna be the name of our base effect stream. Press enter. Cool, now that we made a base effect stream, the last thing to do is to edit the settings of the base effect stream so the sampler is applied to it, okay? So, Merv streams, edit, base blended, settings, and then sample. Okay, I think we finally set up our Half-Life Advanced Effects sampler and we're ready to record, okay? This is gonna record a little slower, okay? Because basically Half-Life Advanced Effects has to blend the frames live while you're recording. So be prepared for that, that's completely normal, but here's the great part, the file size is actually gonna be really low. You're not gonna get file sizes that are gigabytes large. These are actually gonna be megabytes, okay? Which is the greatest part about the Half-Life Advanced Effects sampler is it reduces the file size. I assume you already have a movie making CFG and you have all the recording settings 
things that you need already established and set up. So I'm not going to teach you that. If you do want to learn how to make a professional movie making config with all the recording settings necessary, then I suggest checking out my movie making config tutorial, which is separated into two parts. And I will also link that down below in the description. That being said, let's record and I'll see you in Vegas after we're done. So I did something really fun here. I went ahead and recorded two different bass streams, one with a Half-Life Advanced Effects sampler added to it and one without. Let's take a look and see how big these sizes are. So let's go to the normal recording. Almost 23 gigs. 23 gigs for this this little recording here. Let's go to the one with the Half-Life Advanced Effects sampler added to it. 300 megs, 300 megs, a small fraction of the size. For fun, I threw this into Vegas so we can take a look at the difference between the motion blur. Okay, so I went to this part. This is actually the uh, the blended frame clip. I'm gonna lower the opacity and we're gonna go to the other clip that is blended by Vegas, okay? We're gonna see what Vegas resampling looks like compared to Half-Life Advanced Effects sampling at 0.4 exposure. Wow, you see the difference? That's incredible. Look how much smearing there is with Vegas resampling. Let's raise the opacity again of our Half-Life Events Effects sampler. Look how much nicer this is. It's really that simple to create really great motion blur, all within Counter-Strike and with Half-Life Events Effects. All right, hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next one.